Welcome back to Chai Chat with Lavina. I'm still in conversation with Saida Munna Tasneem, the High Commissioner of Bangladesh in London, who is also the Vice Chair or the Vice President rather of Women in Diplomacy Network in uh, London, which is quite an interesting topic that we are talking about, women in diplomacy less in number. So uh, thank you again for staying uh, put with me. Now we talk about the international theme. There is this whole perception uh, about South Asia or, or the, in, in India or everyone being a little bit a step behind. While in the UK, the we were discussing the voting uh, right was given so yes. much later right. to women, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and Even women, the University of Cambridge would not give a degree to the women in undergrad until 1946 or so, 1948. Yes, yes. Yes. And, and Queen Mother was the first one. So, is this a perception when you are here as in the highest position? Why is this sort of, we, we have had women in the university teaching, but still, why is it that this perception exists? Or if this is not a percep perception, have they really not, not kept up with, with, with the Western world? So hmm. West versus East, how do you see it in women? So, you know, um well, West versus uh, the, rather the global South and global North, or West versus East. Of course, there, uh, you know, we need a lot of decolonization in that thought process. So the thought process hasn't been decolonized. There's still this imperial kind of a colonial kind of a uh, knowledge gap, and definitely um, perceptional gap. You know, information gap, and uh, stereotyping of of the global South that you know. Uh, women or in every way we are a bit backwards but actually that's not the case if you think of our uh, civilization we've always had women rulers and there was no problem in yeah. uh, you know for example if this is perception in islam uh, you know in western societies the woman has to take the husband's surname but in islam you never have to take your husband's surname you just are a given name and your given name is a very important name for any woman is considered as an individual and her name will be her given name so this kind of perceptional uh, stereotyping is there. You're absolutely right, and um, it is, you know, somehow it falls upon the southern countries or the, you know, uh, what can I say, developing countries or the global south to break these perceptions. But um, in in the United Kingdom also, uh, you know, Bangladesh uh, in the World Economic Forum Gender Parity Index uh, fares very very high. You know, our ranking is very good in political empowerment of women. We have been in top ten, like seventh position, for many years. Economic empowerment of women also we are among the top 30 and uh, but then you know people might think we are a Muslim majority country Women must be suffering in Bangladesh was just the picture is just the opposite in South Asia our Ranking is very good in many ways. You know, we have top ranking in South Asia when it comes to women's access to employment so currently, you know our um, women in workforce is nearly 42 percent so coming down to my very last question is now we're talking of identity and, and conserving it. What is it, on because it's Women's Day we are talking about, a woman needs to take keep off its identity and make herself global. Let's say your, your take on that, being a woman in a powerful diplomatic situation and also being a mother and a wife. So, you know, currently I am the Vice President of Women in Diplomacy Network in the UK. So since uh, the Women in Diplomacy Resolution came up, there's a global women in diplomacy network that has been created and each country is encouraged to have a women in diplomacy network. Currently, you know, in our, we have 40 plus women ambassadors in, um, in the UK okay. and uh, the Women in Diplomacy Forum mentors, uh, you know, new diplomats who come to this country in terms of speech writing, in terms of, uh, you know, how to, which ministries, you know, give a general briefing. So we try to do that on how the UK government works, things like that. So. Women in Diplomacy is a forum where after becoming a part of it, I always realized even in Bangkok, we had a Women in Diplomacy, but informal one, that, you know, uh, women diplomats um, globally uh, have the same challenges, have the same forte, and uh, there are actually no, you can't really say that, you know, just a South Asian diplomat faces that. It's actually a global culture. And from that perspective, you know, we look towards mentoring our next generation. So next generation of women, whether they're in diplomacy, whether they're in any profession, 
I think it is upon us, at least on in this International Women's Day, I would like to mentor 10 women. So just yesterday, I was mentoring and I'm the advisor to this women in e-commerce platform and 31 women entrepreneurs who just do business, small, you know, they just do saris and handicrafts and small, uh, you know, jewelry boxes of jewelry. They are promoted by, uh, you know, they were brought in, sponsored by the Department of International Trade of the UK government. And it was such a great pleasure that, you know, I'm mentoring them in some way or the other. They look up to me. So mentoring is extremely important. Like in the Bangladesh High Commission in London, I'm very proud to have four women diplomats working with me. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, every day I uh, am very harsh with them. You know, I'm very tough with them. <laughs> but I know I'm being tough on them because I'm grooming them for the future. So it's extremely important. I think uh, for me, the what I'll focus on is if I can pass on my knowledge to them in any way, uh, when it comes to drafting, when it comes to how, you know, like you said, how to stay in a power structure, everything I would like to mentor them to be even more powerful, you know, go to even higher positions. So it is my dream to see that they go, you know, all our junior diplomats uh, who are women really, really flourish in the pawn service and they make their next generation to come more in the pawn service and we have, will have more equity in women in diplomacy. And for that, you know, right now we are 21% globally. So it's upon us to groom the next generation and to mentor them. What would be your one tip to them in one word that you say? Be strong and live strong. When you're in the in a profession, you cannot be weak. You have to make your point. What is you have to make your voice heard. Don't shy away from making your statement. Many times I've seen many meritorious women diplomats, they're not speaking. They're shy of making their point. They're shy of raising their voice, but you must. You even must at home? Listen. Even at home, in every place you have to. You know, even a baby, if she doesn't cry or he doesn't cry, the mother doesn't give him milk, you have to make your voice heard. Good. That, that's a very good note to end on. Make your voice heard. A hard thing to do for anybody and for women, Yes, the world is changing, yet to make your voice heard takes a lot of courage. But courage is what makes us stand against the tide and sail through to new horizons. Have women done that? Have you done that for yourself? Do write into me on Chai Chat at ashtag.com or you can Twitter me at Levina Tandon and leave a feedback as well. Thank you, take care and God bless.